On Wikipedia, under cult, it states in the first lines, the word cult in current popular usage usually refers to a new religious movement or other group whose beliefs or practices are considered abnormal or bizarre. The word origin, originally denoted a system of ritual practices. So under this definition, almost any new group would be considered a cult. What would you say about that? Well, that, that's correct. If, uh, I feel for a start that uh, what myself and Mary are setting up is not a new religious movement. It's certainly not new because it's something that we set up 2000 years ago anyway, and it's not a religious movement in the sense that we're not interested in having worship or priests or, or any of those other things. We are interested only in a direct connection with God that every single member of humanity can engage. So we're not interested in setting up a new religious movement. However, people who know us do group together at times. So in other words, myself and Mary arrange a seminar and a whole group of people come along. Sometimes it's the same people who came along last time, although not always. And, uh, and so my feelings are with regard to that, that every time we have a seminar, we're not setting up a new religious group. We're just presenting a, a series of information about what we have personally learned about God and relationship with God, the human soul and many other important aspects. I feel though that under some of the definitions of cult that you can find in Wikipedia and dictionaries and elsewhere, almost any religion could be viewed as a cult. Now, my personal opinion is that the word nowadays has a connotation of evil to it and, uh, and we at some point need to discuss why it has such a connotation of evil to it. The reality I feel is that, that there is no need for us to keep labelling different things on the planet as having evil, not evil. We just need to see when something is out of harmony with love and bring it into harmony with love. And if every religion on the planet and every political organisation on the planet and every medical organisation on the planet and every other type of organisation, company or otherwise on the planet brought all of their practices into harmony with love, we would have a lovely environment in which to live and enjoy our life. And in particular, if the family brought their particular practices into complete harmony with love, we would just have a wonderful existence on this planet. The reality is though that we don't have a wonderful existence and the reason why is the only problem we face is defining what love is. Whenever we set up different religious observances, we are not defining what love is, we are defining something different. And God is only interested in love, not in all of these other things that we're trying or attempting to define. God is certainly interested in truth as well, but not at the expense of love. So we must always focus on the fact that we need to be loving and that is going to be the only, if there is a so-called religious practice, that would be the only religious practice we would be involved in. I believe that a lot of the definitions that we find about cult, you know, in the world today are all about people's fears being applied to certain groups of people and they have nothing to do generally with reality, but rather the application of people's fear. Years and years ago, for example, the Catholic Church in the, in the second century of, the, of this, this millennia was viewed as a cult. And the government was so afraid of it that it was attacked and bitterly persecuted for a long period of time until the government decided to make the church its state religion. And then all of a sudden it didn't become a cult anymore. All of the other religions that weren't the state religion became cults. And this is an illustration of how we manipulate the word in order to punish people who have a different belief from ourselves because we're afraid. And if we're truly loving, which is what God desires us to be, we would never imply these particular things and certainly never act violently towards another group of people, no matter what their belief.